guys, so today we're going to be talking about mental stimulation for your dogs. So while physical exercise is very important, and I don't want to discount that, mental stimulation, I would argue, is equally as important to your dog. All the toys I'm going to show you in this video are designed specifically to work your dog's brain. There are a lot of different benefits with these toys. So one, it does slow your dog down. If you have a dog that likes to inhale their food, this will actually make them think about chewing their food instead. It's a lot of fun for most dogs. As you can see here, Wrigley's having a good time figuring out how to get the food. It makes it stimulating for your dog. When you go to leave the house in the morning for work, I usually suggest leave your dog with three or four different puzzle toys to work on. This will keep them focused on those puzzle toys and not on chewing on your carpet or your favorite pair of shoes. And of course we have the major one, it tires your dog out. If you think about going to work and sitting in a cubicle all day, you have not been doing much physical exercise, but a lot of people come home exhausted from the day. It is the exact same in our dogs. Getting them to work their brains on different tools and toys just like this one here will tire your dog out. So you kind of hit two birds with one stone. You get to feed your dog their dinner and they actually are a little bit tired after. So down here, I have a lot of these feeder toys. So things like this are really good to start out with. It's a very simple bowl, but it's not too deep. Great for puppies as well, and it's rubberized. This one, it's just an orange bowl. It is a little bit deeper, as you can see. So they really have to get their tongue in there. They can't just smash their face in these to get the food out of, which is why I really like them. This one is a little fun. Um, it's just got raised plastic elements to it. Again, you just sprinkle the food right over, and then they kind of have to work their nose and their tongue in and out of this one to get the food out. Now this one is a snuffle mat. You just drop the treats or sprinkle the kibble in this. And they're kind of just long carpet fibers and they snuffle around, dig their nose in to get the food out of that one. We have a lot of these kind of actual puzzle things. When you're shopping for enrichment toys, if you go to the toy section, within the toy section, the things that you're not quite sure what they're for, those are the enrichment toys. This one, you just dump treats into these sections and your dog has to kind of move them around a little bit to wiggle the treats out of. Um, here's another Kong product, but this one actually comes unscrewed and this is where this little hole right here is where the food falls out. The bottom of this is weighted, it's a little wobble Kong, so if you roll it around, it'll right itself back up straight again. And again, you just unscrew that to load the food into it and your dog wobbles this around the whole kitchen, whole living room area, and works their food out that way. This one here, I don't have the treats in there because she ate them, but you actually can buy separate disc treats for this and it just unscrews at both ends. This is actually a dental one as well, so as your dog works the treat out of it, they get their teeth cleaned a little bit, which is really fun. Okay, this one is another Kong product. It's a fun one. It got a little warped when I put it in the dishwasher, but you can load the inside of this with peanut butter, with wet dog food, and freeze it. That's another tip that I have here with all of these things that you can load with food, like wet dog food or peanut butter, anything sticky or wet like that, I suggest freezing them. The reason for freezing them is they're going to last twice as long. Other cool thing you can do with these is bury their favorite dental chew in them. So these are just the milk bone dental chews that I have here. And I know, I'm sorry, this is kind of gross, but it's just dog food, I promise. But these ones you can just stick right in the Kong and then surround them with dog food or whatever you're filling the Kong normally with freeze it and then they actually have like kind of a handle sticking out. It gets them started really well. Here I just wanted to show me actually stuffing one of the Kongs. A good trick for this is actually with the wet dog food using a spoon rather than a knife it actually is much more efficient and you can stuff Kongs a lot faster and pack in a lot more food in there. These ones 
are licky mats. But these are, they, they're patterned little mats as you can see here. So your dog licks them and licks all this stuff off of it. So again, I like to freeze these. What I have on here right now is just some wet dog food and tuna. And then I'll take this wax paper and just cover the top of one of them so they don't stick together. I keep all of this stuff in this bin that I put directly in my freezer and I'll show you. This one is great because it's rubberized so it's nice on the walls and furniture in your house. You just load the top with treats and your dog rolls it around the room. Treats pop out this side. So that's the concept of these roller ones. This one is also really great. It's a good size for smaller dogs and puppies and also fairly easy. So you just load the treats here and there's actually multiple holes that the treats will fall out of as your dog rolls it around the room. This one is really awesome. I'll actually put it on the ground to show you. So this one is actually weighted. So it's not rolling like a normal rolly thing would, but it kind of shifts itself back and forth, which I really like. So your dog noses it around, it rolls around, and food comes out of these holes here, and you load the food at the top ends. Over here. Okay, these ones are a personal favorite of mine. I got these on Amazon. They are these little balls with teeth. So you can actually put your dog's kibble or treats in these and it'll hold on to them. And then your dog can kind of roll these around the room and move these things with their mouths to dislodge the food. You can get them in different sizes as well, depending on the size of your dog. And this is the Outward Hound brand. They make really good dog puzzle toys, but this is kind of just a swivel thing. So you can swivel it, load treats in each of these components. And if your dog is just starting out, you can leave it open for them and teach them that they can just grab things out of out of these uh, different pockets here or if your dog is more experienced with it you can close it all up and give it to them just like that and they have to actually nose it to get the pieces out of it they come with these little white caps that you can actually cover the holes right here but your dog actually has to get this out to uncover the food underneath which is just an extra difficulty to this so you can make this easier or harder depending on your dog's skill level and over here so you just load the treats in here you can cover these up some of them stay open this is kind of a more easy difficulty level one we'll get to that in a second this one is a little bit more challenging it has again these white pockets so you can place treats underneath and they also have these little flip containers as well so your dog can take these white pieces out flip these up with their nose and these ones actually swivel for a pocket underneath as well okay this ball this is fun it's just a fetch toy but you can also make it more enriching by using things like pieces of felt so you, what you can do is actually put a treat in these roll it all the way up and then give that to your dog so they can figure out how to get the treat unroll this boom there's a treat at the end of it then what you can do is after your dog understands the concept of those is cut up a bunch of them roll them all up with treats and stick them inside of this okay so those are all kind of store-bought things that you can use Some enrichment toys do get very expensive though i bought these all over a period of maybe six months or so you can also make a bunch of homemade things so things like ice trays are awesome especially for the summer you can fill these just like you would fill a kong you can do things like chicken broth, cream cheese, yogurt, put this in the freezer, let it freeze, and then you have just individualized little ice cube, almost like Kong things to give to your dog to work on. Awesome for summer days. Okay, and then other thing that you can do is take like a muffin tin like this, put tennis balls in each of the holes, or at least a few of the holes, put treats at the bottom of these, and then your dog has to figure out how to get to the treat, they do that by lifting the tennis ball out of this. If your dog is anything like my dog, she will literally flip this entire muffin tin over to get all the tennis balls and food out all at once. But a lot of dogs do different things with it. Some of them will move these with their paws, pick them up with their mouths to move it out of the way. It's just a lot of fun seeing them kind of work through how to get to the food that way. And a lot of people have muffin tins in their homes already. So great use for that. 
Okay, and other thing you can do is save your Amazon boxes. Save boxes that you get packages in. I usually keep a couple on hand. What you can do with these is stick things in these. So put like, for example, these tennis balls in there. If you fill this with tennis balls and then put treats at the bottom of this, your dog has to move the tennis balls around, take them out to actually get access to the food. If you have old newspaper, scraps of paper that is just you're gonna throw away or just lying around you can take that as well as a filler and drop treats in there almost creating kind of a snuffle mat effect but in a box so you can do lots of different things in the box as well to make a fun enrichment game for you so these are just a few of the enrichment toys that are on the market out there there are plenty more that are not shown on this table I know I have a lot being a dog trainer I use these as examples for lots of my clients as well you do not have to have have these this many if you can have maybe you know three or four of these and keep them on rotation with your dog that'll keep them very interested in them won't get bored with them or they won't get too easy too quickly I hope this video was helpful for figuring out what your dog might like in a puzzle toy. Down in the description below, I will list all of the brands that I talked about as well as some of my favorite ones. And if your dog is new to these kinds of puzzle toys, I'd start with the easier ones and then work up the difficulty level as your dog gets better at them. Thanks everyone for watching. If you have any questions, drop it down in the comments below and I'll see you next Thursday. Happy training.